Okay, so what we're going to do here is we are going to set up seating charts in your room. This is a great way to print them off for your sub that's coming up, or a great way you could just quickly check uh, your tenant. So once you log into PowerSchool, hit the little chair with the grid next to your class that you want to set up your first seating chart for. And uh, you could pre-populate the layout, which will give you kind of random order of the students. Um, I'm going to go with OK just to see what that will do for us. So now we have all these students just kind of dropped in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my seating chart design. And I have all these desks around. So do I want to put my rows and tables and chairs? Uh, quickest way to do this, if you know how many kids you have, I pick the row. And let's say I had um, typically about how many chairs. Let's say I had a class of 25 desks in it. I hit add. And when you drag a picture, when it's all glowing, it won't work. So what you have to do is make sure it's not orange. Drag it in from there. Whoop. All right, so we're going to move all these students over. All right, so now I have all my desks set up. And if I hit populate, I like to do the random function. If you're just trying to mix things up, uh, we could do that. And we're going to start at the top left and then add them. All right, so now what we're going to do that we have all the kids associated in, you could zoom out a little bit so you can have a little bit more of a work area. You can do uh, even some text. You know, maybe I could do fire escape window. Okay, so I can move these things or which way I want. Now what I want to do is I want to start making up my Kagan groups. Sure, I would have some data to group these kids up. What I'm going to start to do now is I'm going to move the students around and I'm going to try my best to make up a group of four is I'm going to edit this. We're going to give it a unique name, maybe King Groups. I'm going to save it as a new. And now if you're doing a seating chart and you want to quickly get um, your students checked in, in the morning, hit the little print button up here. And um, sometimes you'll be lucky if you could squeeze everyone in when you print in portrait style. Sometimes you have to change it to a landscape to make sure. Also notice that your class name will be printed up here. Make sure you're in, I like new layout bracket. Now start from pre-existing layout. The next school year, there's our group, Kaden group, finish. There we go.